Yo, what's going on gamers? Today we're going to be doing a tier list video. Because new mods come out, hate them a few, and I've got some opinions. So let's get into it, shall we? First off, before we can start, we gotta name the tiers. We got S tier, which is a instant win. No matter what you do, if you have this mod on your team, you will win. A God tier mods. Mods you want on your team every game. B Solid mons, you're fine to have them. They're pretty good. C tier is a little bit of a niche mon. If someone knows how to play it, they could pop off, but it's gonna be a little rough. And D tier, you do not want this mon on your team. It may work, but has a high chance of losing the game. And trash, never pick. Don't want them. Garbage. Get them out of here. And I think we're gonna start off with Cinder, who is a definite. A tier mon, god mon, one of the OG junglers and is still one of the best junglers. I mean his range is just great, he does crit, his boosted attacks are powerful, his power ball just recently got buffed. He's got a lot of things going for him. Favorite of the jungler picks, good A tier mon. Now let's do Gengar. There you go, I'm gonna put in a the niche tier, a little bit of a C. Maybe maybe I'm being too hard, but since we got a safeguard and a bunch of full heal, um, he's kinda harder to run. You gotta sometimes force to run Shadow Ball Hypnosis if you're gonna get your hex uh removed from safeguard or full heal. It's kind of a niche tier mod. If someone's been playing him since the game's release, he's gonna pop off all the game and sweep. And it's going to be a 5 minute concede. If not, you might have a rough time. And you might have end up losing the Zat fight. So, he's a niche mon, I'll say. And let's get Nine Tails. I think Nine Tails. Ooh. That'd be a tough one. How generous am I feeling for Nine Tails? Ooh. I'm going to put him in B tier. Maybe he'll go in C, but I think. Um, movement is a big thing right now in Unite, and Ninetales is a little lacking on it. They had the little dash, which helps, and recently they got kind of a shadow buff when they released Rapid Fire Scarf. Same thing with a lot of other mods that I'll talk about later. But a really good solid Disruptor, good early game evolution, that's why I'm putting him in B, and a solid alt. Not the best, but pretty good. Let's get a support in here. We don't have a lot, but we'll get Wiggly. Wiggly, I'm going to put... Uh, oof. I'm going to put in the C tier. Maybe being a little generous once again, but I'm a nice guy. I'll put him in C. Really tough, has a great alt. Super powerful, but the rest of its moveset and kit is a little to be desired. Like, Sing is still OG, it's really good, but a lot of mods can just get out of it with movement speed abilities, dashes, maybe you got a full heal, or just, you know, X speed out, eject out. It's hard to get mods to fall asleep. You mainly get in tanks, but you don't want to get tanks. You want to get those attackers and speedsters. That's why they're going in C. And speaking of speedsters... Let's get one of the newbies here. Let's get one of the new guys. So Zero Oa is a solid A tier pick. I think uh, I'll keep him in A. I'll leave him some stuff later, maybe, but for now he'll go in A. I think, you know, he on release, he was nuts. Weeping through teams. Uh he got a little bit nerfed, but I think he's still pretty good with those dashes. He's like kind of a Zero Aura, as then he's got a lot of movement speed and some invulnerable stuff that you just can't deal with. But I think he's an A tier mod. His ult also pretty okay. You know what? Talking about him, he's going to be. You know, solid B tier mod. He can easily get in range with all of his dashes and get out with his dashes. But up no, I'll put him in A. I'll keep it. I'll keep an A. I can't. I got to move on. Be here all day. Alright. We haven't got a tank yet. Let's get my buddy good old Slowbro. 
I think Slowbo is an A tier mon. You don't instant win as him, but he's a phenomenal tank. Uh, his alt is one of the best in the game. His alt alone is an S tier ability. That definitely puts him up high. Um, Scald is now the new build. It got buffed a while ago. But so far, it's still good. That uh, triple stun once you get level 11 is pretty good. But getting to level 11 takes a long time. And Scald is going to be better until you hit that boosted soft. And Amnesia, amazing ability. Pop it with the potion. Amazing, like, instant heal combo from half to full. Telekinesis also could be good, but you'd rather have a way more survivable tank than one that stuns a little bit. Good solid team on. One of my favorite tanks to play. Phenomenal ult. Let's get... Let's get Garchomp. I think Garchomp is going to be our first trash mon. He has been bottom bragging, bottom TO since launch day. He got a little bit of a power spike and was great. And then they pushed him back in the door. He's a trash mon. Uh, doesn't have enough movement speed and movement abilities to get close. Like look at Zero Aura, which is 9 dashes. Or Zero Rock, which is 8 dashes. Meanwhile, Garchomp just got the one to go forward. And then he's dead in the water if he doesn't get support. His ult's really good. Rapid Fire, Rapid Fire Scarf and Drain Crown definitely help out him. But it's not enough. He needs something more. There's mons that are way better than him. And can burn him down before he can get in range to do anything. That's why he's our first and maybe only trash tier pick. Now, to get a little up back on the sunshine, uh, let's get Mew. I think Mew is also a solid B tier mon. Used to be super good, maybe even S tier mon, but a little bit of a north to its solar beam. Um, his alts a little wacky, a little weird, doesn't do damage. So, in big. Final team fights. It doesn't help too much, you know. But Soul Beam still really good. Both is good. Um, just Electro Ball and uh, Poaching is kind of a weird move set. But he doesn't need three good move sets. He can have just a two. Agility is great with Solar Beam. The Barrier is great with Solar Beam with the Stun. Good solid B two on. And let's get a all-arounder, another all-arounder on the board. Let's get a uh, Dragonite, which I'm also going to put in B tier. He might get a little lower, but his Hyper Beam is a great secure still. He's not the only good secure mon anymore. We've got some new mods that are pretty good at securing. But Hyper Beam is still great. Outrage, you can play, but it's a little like um, Garchomp in... It's tough to get in range and do some work. But Hyper Beam's great. Put an attack weight on him. Stack up to 6. You're going to be doing big boss damage with that beam. His ultimate's a little weird. It's, uh... You know, the farther you use it, the less charge you have. But it's a good thing to get in team fights. Good for back capping. But easy to get out of and doesn't do a whole lot of damage. That's why it's going in B. Alright. Let's get a tank in here. We're looking a little not green enough for me. Let's get Blastoise. I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to put him in A. Maybe I'm being generous, but I play tanks a lot, so I feel like I'm trying to be fail enough to these tanks. Blastoise has a uh, Soul Hydro Pump, which I've been using a little bit, and it's pretty dang good. But... Rapid, or, ooh, not Rapid Fast Cough. Rapid Spin is probably still the better build just for the damage output if you're stacking um, and the speed. You're less disruptive, but you're in the back line doing damage. And if you're low, you can just counter or cancel your Rapid Spin. Pop an ult. His ult's phenomenal. That's kind of carrying a little bit, but I think it's a good solo A tier mon. I'd love to have him on the team. Who I don't love to have on the team. Who, who do I not like to have on the team? All these mods are pretty alright. I'm going to play Crustle. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep him in C for now. He is... No, I'm going to put him in D. I don't want him. 
rather have any other tank than Crustle. Because he just gets out maneuvered, out damaged, and everything by Greedent. Our favorite score of the game. Crustle doesn't do enough to warrant not playing Greedent. He heals more. You can score more if you run in that back line. It's arguably faster than Crustle. But Crustle is rough. His ult also is probably better than uh, Crustle's. He's just a worse Greedon, which is sad. Unfortunately, we do not want him on the team. But who we do want on the team, and it is rising to popularity, is the new Sylveon build. Well, not new, but you know. The new War one. No longer is Hyper Voice Sylveon a thing. Now it's... Uh, Mystical Fire, which I loved from the beginning, but it didn't do enough damage. Now, you're a jungle invading demon a Sylveon. An ult, pretty good. You can just jump in the air, do a little damage on landing, save you out of a tough spot if you need to jump over a hill or a gap or a wall. You're gonna die. But great jungle invading mon, early evolution too. Uh, happy that it's prevalent now. Besides, you know, just Glaceon being meta. Alright. What, what do we want here? Let's get another support. Let's get probably the best support we've had and will ever get. Sableye. You thought I was going for Blissey? Debated you. It's Sableye. Sableye was the most broken mon on launch ever. To date. He had the highest win rate on launch out of any mon. It was nuts. If you have this mon on your team, you are very, very, very likely to win the game. It's crazy how much he influences the match for being not in any team fights. You can just say, hey, I don't want to play this game with other people. I want to play a solo queue experience. I want to play a single player game. Pick Sableye. You can just pick up points, score him in the back, or be Disruptor. Shoot on some confusing ways on enemy teams. Make them hit each other. Ultimate. They all go back to base if no one hits them. Phenomenal mod. Very annoying. And you're invisible. Why are you supposed to counter something you can't see? But he's going in S. Incredible mod. Um. Let's get, let's get some more attackers in here. Let's, I think we can introduce the new guy. I think we can introduce a new guy, Dragapult. I think he is a D2 mon. Unfortunately for him, he is not that good. Every other mon that can go in the jungle is probably better than Dragapult going in the jungle. But Dragapult has to go in the jungle. He's suffering the Garchomp treatment. He's a two-stage evolution mon, so he's pretty weak early game and niche mid game, just like Garchomp. Luckily, he's got some range. His ultimate's pretty unique, but doesn't do a whole lot in a team fight. Which is unfortunate, because that's... You kind of need to win that fight if you can ult them. And if, you know, the enemy team with better ults than you, they're more likely to win. But ulting isn't everything. This mon also struggles in escaping. Dragon Dance is a little dash, and you spin in a circle, but that doesn't help you. They just shoot you while you're spinning and you die. His other ability, Phantom Force, you're invisible for a while, which is phenomenal, but you can still be hit while invisible. You don't fade out of existence. So if you try to use it to escape, they'll just A press you and kill you. And again, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. You'd rather have a Cinderace for the Born, which is better than Dragapult. You'd rather have a Dedon, which is better Born than Dragapult and damage. So he's just a War Cinder and Dedon for jungle and in lane. It's unfortunate for the new guy, but I'm sorry. You're in D2. I do not want you on the squad. Let's get a mon I played recently. For Amorant. I'm going to say he is also a niche heal pick. Because if you coordinate, you can dive him while he's ulting and kill him. He'll do a good chunk of damage, depending on how many people are hitting him. But, out with North's, he has not quite been the same, and Dive's been North. So, he's struggling a lot. 
poor fish man but he's still he's still a good mod I'd, I'd like to see him on the team but if you don't know how to play him it's going to be a struggle i'd rather have pikachu than a cram on the team for that nice stun ranged attacker which speaking of pikachu i think he's going in the top of b so far i'll move mew up above nine tails he's going in the top of b i think he's a phenomenal mon great disruptor with the thunder thunderbolt electro ball a uh, volt tackle great at picking out the jungle or like oh jungle flanking oop stunned him everyone dive him he's dead also super fast at getting ultimate if you're wanting energy amp great ultimate in general too just a nice area effect damage boost up your attack phenomenal mon but a little squishy doesn't have any maneuverability to escape situations that are a little spicy so he's going in B which is I think it's fair I want to get flame in the comments all the Pikachu lovers um let's get another speed though we've only got one on the board so far let's get Dojo. now I'm gonna put Dojo on a I'm gonna put him on his B tier a solid pick I'll put him in front of Pikachu sadly I'm not going to put him in A tier just because if you cannot play Dojo well, you will get burnt down and killed. But if you can play Dojo well, you are going to be destroying the backline, invading jungle, going. You can do everything as them. You're just very, very squishy. And only one stage evolution, so it's not that bad. But you can just immediately jump in the jungle, take something, run out. Very hard on the catch. Even harder to catch than Greedon. Your ultimate's also pretty good. Your escape tool. This is like a nice talent dash across the map. Solid B2 Mon. You also only have one support on the board. Let's put in Blissey. I think Blissey is also a... S2 Mon. Two supports on S2. Maybe the only S2 Mons. But Blissey is the best healer in the game. And has safeguard, which is a full heal on a eight second cooldown. Is it eight or is it seven? It's uh, whatever. It's on a shorter cooldown than full heal. Great mon, great supporter mon. You're averaging 100k healing a game. If you're wanting soft boiled egg bomb, also one of the best alts in the game. Just dash to the jungle or any mon you hit that's an enemy doing that dash. You push up in the air and do a good chunk of damage. And when you connect, you give all more if you're running Buddy Bear you, and you heal them. On top of giving them an attack speed boost, which is phenomenal alt. Probably the best support alt in the game. Best support in the game, hands down. And then Sableye came out. Now it's a bit contested what you want. But phenomenal support alt. Great S2 pick. Definitely want this one on my team every time. Alright. Back down to the lowly tiers. Uh, let's do Owl. I think Owl is also... I'm going to put him in B. Um, not a lot of great escape tools, but has a little bit of a movement buff. With the Shadow Sneak. Is it Shadow Sneak? I think so. Pardon if I mistake any moves, but... Razor Leaf is good, a good born ability, but Arrow is a great secure. Probably the best secure in the game, along with Solar Beam, Mew, and Solar Beam Venusaur. It's good chunk of damage. You can attack weight stack on him. You can put him in jungle. And a great combo with Blissey. Especially with uh, Razor Leaf. The good solid Mon. His ult's a little to be desired though. That's why he's going in B and not A. All right, down to two rows. Still a lot of mons left to go through. Let's do my champ. My champ is a good, solid A2 mon. I'm gonna put him above Blastoise. My champ is a great mon. Was contested with Zoroark back in you know season one through three of solo top lane. Great stacko, hundred percent. Um, now that the two-two meta, he's still really good. You could put him in jungle, but he's a fine three-two stage to put in lane. He's a fine 3-2 mon to put in lane, get some good stacks, 
This ultimate alone can win a team fight single handedly. Phenomenal ult. One of the best ults in the game. But he's only got one good build. The mission is kind of hard to deal with. But if you have enough movement abilities, you can definitely get out of it. Or if you time a full heal light, you'll stop him in his tracks. So it can be countered, but he is a solid mon and can definitely run away with the game. So, A tier for you. Let's lower out some of these attackers. We still have plenty of attackers. Let's get Delphox, another A tier mon. I'm going to put him behind Machamp. But it was a rock. I could put my champ up to your tears. El Fox is a really good jungle law with some really good low cooldown abilities with uh, mystical fire and a little dash. Good range damage dealer, great for jungle. His ultimate's a little weird, good for holding a point, good for defending an area, and it slows enemies, so it's pretty good. I'm not going to say S tier, it's not busted, it's not broken, but it's definitely a great mon to have on the team. But if he's not better than Sindo, he's not going on S tier, so A tier for you. Up next, let's round out some of these attackers. Venusaur. I'm going to also say, an A tier mon. One of the most powerful spikes at level 13 we have in the game with Pedal Dance, uh, Giga Drain, Solar Bee, or Bulbasaur, Venusaur, there we go. Pedal Dance at level 13 has a huge radius and Giga Drain is just so good. This mon will not die. Level 13, put a pocket support on him like a Blissey, you will never die. You'll win off this guy hitting 13. The problem is, is if you cannot hit 13 with this mon, you should not play him. He is still a good mon, don't get me wrong, but 13 is a huge power spike, and if you cannot hit that consistently, you should play a different mon. This mon can carry at that level 13. It's a big difference from 12 to 13. Also, pretty good alt, good at securing an objective, good at doing some big damage, easy to miss though. A good, solid A tier mon. Alright, Charizard. I'm going to put in B tier. What about Pikachu? B tier because Charizard got a little north to his ultimate where he doesn't burn through shield anymore. So it's a little tough for my boy there. But he's still great. You know, he's all still really good. Just that not burning through that shield is really, really tough for him. Now it's just a T-tar thing with his ult. So rest in peace Charizard. You've been dropped one tier. But still good movement speed, you know? His moves do damage and give him a speed increase, so good, good mod. Speaking of T-Dot, let's put him in here. I'll put him in B tier. I'll put him in the back of A tier. Uh, I'm gonna swap Blastoise down for B tier. I'm seeing too much mons out ahead of him. I'm gonna put him in B tier. But back to Tyranitar. We are going to make Tyranitar an A tier mon. Three stage evolution. Can do lane pretty okay, but I want him in jungle. Getting that slow. He's got him he's got some movement speed abilities. So pretty good on that. Not not the fastest mon, but not the slowest. His ultimate though is where it truly shines. Just killing you super fast. Get that rapid fire scarf. Also helps him out a ton. Just doing those big boosted stomps with um, Rock Tomb Ancient Power. No, Ancient Power Dragon Pulse. Yes. But that build's great. Give you that speed a little bit to connect with an enemy. Step on a few times. Finish him off with the pulse. Great, great mon, A tier. This mon, you put a pocket support on him like Blissey. He can. 1v6. 1v5. There's only 5 mons in your night. He can 1v5 with us all easily. Which not a lot of mods can do. That's why Machamp and also Tito is an A tier. Only, only a few mods can 1v5 successfully. Alright. Let's get 
Duality Another 8 tier Mon to play. I'll put him above t -tile. Duralidon is a powerful salt shaker, really good before Dragon Pulse got nerfed. Still really good even with nerf Dragon Pulse. Um, some people are using Flash Cannon, but Dragon Pulse is the way to go, 100%. Great secure, good damage. Um, Dragon Tail or Iron Tail is a good little backup ability. That's handy. But Dragon Pulse is the way to go with this guy. His ultimate's also pretty good. It's like Delphox, but more of only you being protected. Just a little ring of fire. If someone walks through the fire, they get slowed and damaged. Easier for you to ping them with your A. And then pop that Dragon Pulse and they die. Great mon of all. A little bit lacking on mobility though. But solid A tier mon. Let's get some more newbies on the board. Let's get Oshifu. Well, Shifu, I'm going to put as a solid B tier mon above Ninetales. Well, Shifu kind of stomps on Ninetales. He recently got buffed with his water moves, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's on a short cooldown, which is nice, but Dog Pulse or his Dog moves are the way to go. Punch you up in that air. Actually, no. I'm going to put him in niche. He's kind of weird to play. Not a lot of people play him. But it's fun early on, but... He's kind of tough. He doesn't do a whole lot of anything great. He's just kind of like an all-rounder and everything. He just do some nice big boss damage, but... Gets chunked down. Doesn't have a awesome escape tool. But if, if you let him dive in on a mon, they will die. And his ult... Punches you 20 feet in the air. Get you out of the team fight, which is handy, but... I think he's a niche mon. And, you know what, let's proc in one of our last four supports as Mr. Mon, which I don't want. He was a niche Mon through and through, and then he got buffed. He was insane, an S tier Mon, picked every game or you would lose. Now, back to niche, Mon even don't want. He's been nerfed hard. He still played, people were in the barrier. People are running him as a pocket support with his power guard or power swap, but he's not really enough now. I'd rather have other mons like, you know, our two S2 supports or any mon, even Wiggly. He just doesn't do a whole lot great except for the ultimate, which is handy. He gets it super fast, which is nice, but again, if you're just baiting to win with a few nights in the last team fight, it's going to be tough, especially if you get stomped early. But good secure early game, so good early mid uh, evolution. But I don't, I do not want him. I'd rather have any other support. All right, next up we are going to do New Glacian. I'm gonna put him as an A tier mon. I'm going to do above Didon. Not as good as they used to be with their um, bugged Oko ability with their Icicle Crash. But still a great Mon. Or the Icicle Spear, sorry. Still a great Mon, still a great jungler, good in lane too. Um, powerful all across the board. Not as good as Sylveon now, I would say. Just get that jungle steal and movement potential Sylveon has. But Glacian's still pretty good. The ultimate's a little weird, but good solo A to Mon. I like them I like them on the team. Alright. And let's get with Zero Out. One of our last three speedsters. Which I'll put him in B. I'll put him right right by nine tails. Let's boost up you like that. There we go. All right. The rock. Only really good move is wild charge. You just can't hit him. Is it wild charge? Pretty sure it's wild charge. Yes. Wild charge. This is a great ability. You can't do anything to him while he's in wild charge. That alone puts him in C tier. 
His ultimate's also pretty damn good. Just destroys one target, and then that radius will do just more damage. Great mon overall. But little Lacken, other mons are getting faster than him. He doesn't have a whole lot of dashes. He's got one in and one to get out. Meanwhile, we got Dojo that's running around the whole map. They're always just like infinite dashes. So he falls off a little bit, but still a powerful mon. Discharge though, doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. But you can win a game steamrolling with Wild Charge Jungle Law. They work. Or they were over. So good to all to beat him on. All right. Next, let's get look at Scizor. He's seen a buff recently. I put him up by Venusaur, right above Venusaur. I think Scizor is a good A team on Scizor Scythor. Both of them have been seeing some play now because Scizor recently got buffed. Scythor still played, I say more, but Scizor's got great healing now with his bullet punch. Um, Saito is still more of the assassin build, which more people like in jungle. But Scizor is good. Put an attack rate on him, he's healing like Lucario with close combat. It's nuts. And pretty good mon for ulting. Good like solo assassin ult. So good ATM mon. Solid all around the board. Alright. No lax. The definition of niche. I'll put him on the top of niche though, just to be nice. Our Lord Savior Snorlax. Not one really of the best mon in the game, but Block is a phenomenal. Unless you have a team that doesn't want to play with you. If you have a team that doesn't want to play with the Snorlax, you will do nothing the whole game. You'll leave the game defeated 100 points to 500 with doing like 12k damage. But all you need, all you need is that one perfect block. And you'll team wipe and win the Zapdos fight. Just if you can snag him in that pit just one time, you win the game. Not even all of them. Two or three of them, and you win. Just get him in that corner, block him, they can't move. At that free two kills, you win the game. That's all it takes. One good block in the final two minutes. Or three minutes, depending on uh how quickly. Like two, 215, 230. You can kill him there with block. Phenomenal. His ult's also really good. Good for stalling, good healing. You're doing a lot of frontline, doing, um, or taking a lot of damage. Pop your ult, heal up, you're back to full, back to blocking, back to winning. But if you can't get that block off, again, a team-based mon, you will lose. That's why he's a niche mon. If a coordinated team, you will crush. Crush. Alright. We... We're gonna get Buzzwall up here. Buzzwall got a buff. But I'm gonna put him in B tier. I'm gonna put him above Mew, but lower than Pikachu. God, I, I think my Pikachu uh, love is showing a little bit, but I don't care. Buzzwall's alt solo target, which, you know, is okay. It just smashes into him, does some damage. Um, if you get that Beast Boost kill, though, Mm, beast boost is great. Get that movement speed, doing more damage. Um, he can heal, lunge is great. He recently got buffed with another move set. So you can just be grabbing people and they're just unable to move. But lunge is where you heal, so most people just pick that. But uh great mod overall. Not good enough to be an A tier though. I think he can get burnt down pretty quick if you just don't let them near you. Which a lot of mods in this meta have dashes or just stop you from playing. Like look at our look at our A tier picks. All of them except for three have incredible movement. Bubble's up though, because he can heal, best tank, and his ultimate's insane. The champ's got good movement. Delphi's got good movement. Cinderace is super far ranged and he's got a kick ability, which is great movement. Zarg's got good movement. Sizzle's got good movement. Like all across the board, all these great A2 picks, which most people are playing, and even some B2 mons, have a lot of dash abilities. So Buzzwall's gonna have a hard time grabbing people, but if he does, it is devastating. Alright. We're getting low, almost one full row. And let's get Trevenant. 
I think Trevenant is a solid a Tiamon. I think he is definitely better than Blastoise, but not better than Slowbro. Do I think he's that much better than B tier picks though? I'm gonna say yes. His ult's pretty devastating. It's a huge area effect damage and he gets some buffs. Um, he can also heal a lot if you do his combos right with Horn Leech and Course. But he's a uh, hard to hit. He does damage himself. So if you don't land those Horn Leeches on like a few people, it's going to be tough. Also, the other move that's not that great, it's just Horn Leech Course. And it can put you in a position that you do not want to be in. If a team doesn't follow up. Or if you go in too far with Horn Leech. You're kind of dead. But if you know how to play him. He'll be a great mod for the team. Good nice tank. Good for pushing in objectives. Healing. Stalling. Good mod. Alright. One more row. Let's get on a zoom oil. I'm going to say zoom oil is a... Uh, I'm going to put him in A also. I'm going to put him above, like right there, above Bulbasaur, above Venusaur. Azumarill, uh, low stage evolution, level 4, good for lane, good attack weight. A lot of healing with his Aqua Tail, not a lot of, I believe Whirlpool just got buffed, but Aqua Tail still great. It's Aqua Tail got nerfed or Whirlpool got buffed, one of those. But Aqua Tail is still the better build. Those crit guaranteed crits, when you hit on just one Mon on the final attack, you heal so much HP. Very hard to deal with this Mon. Probably can, it, it can even 2v1. His ultimate's good. You do a little damage to yourself, but just pop a Buddy Barrier on that. Aqua Tell a few times, you're back to full. Very annoying Mon to kill. Can definitely 1v2 easily. Let's get one of our supports up there. We have three supports still. Let's get Hoopa. I guess Hoopa has fallen from grace just a wee little bit. I'm going to put him in niche tier. Maybe that's too harsh on him, but no one's playing him anymore. The map's got so much um, stuff to do on it. You don't really just sit in a lane to wormhole. And a lot of teammates just don't go in the wormhole. Again, a mod that if a coordinated team plays them, he can destroy you. But... If he's not quite a team and you pick wormhole, you're going to have a lot of empty wormholes during the match. Trick, though, is good. A niche build. You can kind of pocket a deed on an owl, give him that lifesteal, which they did north, but you still get some lifesteal. I believe it was 15%, but now it's less, or maybe it got less to 15%. I don't remember. But I'm going to put him in a niche. Great ultimate, but it's not a game winning fight. It's just a big portal and you do some more damage. Good stun though. Good stun with his ult. But here's the niche mon, unfortunately. Let's kick off with... We still got three tackles. Let's get Greninja up there. Right up there, contesting with Cinderace. Now, it's always going to be a back and forth. It's pretty um, personal opinion on which one of these guys is better. It's always going to be Cinder versus Greninja on who is the better jungler. But they're both solid A tier mons. Cinder's more of a ranged hitter. Um, Greninja's the go in your face assassin with Sof. Maybe even some um, shurikens. If you want to run some water shurikens. But Sof is definitely the uh, build that you'll see a lot. It's dashing through teams. Very good solid mon. Can sweep a team better than Cinder. But I'm going to put Cinder buff him because... You also get caught out way more as Greninja. And if you're not a go-to Greninja that knows what the plan is, you will dive in, get one or two kills, and then die. Which sometimes is not worth it. Sometimes you want to be the Cinder that uh, comes in and kills everyone that's at like 20%. Just mow through a team. Alts also. Both very, very similar. But I'm going to put Cinder above Greninja. So... All right, pal. All right, Ada Slash. He is going, I believe, in B. His alts not that. I'm gonna put him down by like Blastoise. 
His ult's like, okay, it's pretty good. It's a good assassin ability, so you want to use it when people are low. Otherwise, it does like two damage. Minuscule. You got to hit him when they're low. His build is still the King Shield, Sacred Sword, Dragon or Shadow Claw isn't doing a whole lot still. It's hard to hit Shadow Claw compared to Aegis Slash's King Shield. It's also a little more mechanical than a lot of mons that we have with his swapping stance forms. Because if you mess that up, you'll be super squishy and die. But even through all that, his mechanical skill and stuff, still a little underwhelming. We got mons that do more damage, easier, and can get out better. And have better ults, so. He's a good solid B2 mon. It's easier to not get stunned with his king shield, so. I'm gonna put him in B. Alright. Greedent. The dreadful skull we all know and hate. He's going right up there. Let me put my champ a little lower. Let me put him right there. He's going up there with uh, Slowbro. He's a phenomenal tank. He, his survivability is nuts. He always gets out. He can score. He can disrupt. He can do damage with Bullet Seed. Like, Bullet Seed is seeing a lot of play now. Compared to Belch, which I like. His ult's also great and phenomenal. With Bullet Seed too, especially. You can just gun down a target. And you're fast as hell too. So if you just see a target running, you'll run up to them with cheek pouch, get some berries, and shoot some seeds at them. And it, the seeds slow you down too, so you're not escaping a greedent. If a greedent wants to kill you, it will. And it will target your supports. And I know, trust me. A support can't do anything against the greedent. He'll just heal up and just slowly ping you down over the next 30 seconds and you'll die. Oh, he's an A2 mon. Alright. Espeon, I'm going to put as a B tier mon. Maybe a little bit of a hot take, but he's fallen off. His ult's pretty okay. Uh, it's like a little mini grab, but instead of pushing in, it grabs you and pulls. Oh, Grabs you and pushes you out. But he still could do a lot of boss damage with the uh, with the beam, with the side beam. And his ability is great, just negates any uh, hindrance. But it's not enough, unfortunately, to be an A2 mon. His ult doesn't do a whole lot of damage, just a little stun that doesn't last very long. You'd rather have a lot of a ult, to be honest. Or maybe even a Ninetales. Or a Blastoise. Definitely want a Blastoise ult instead of that. But they're just better easy Lucians to play. Like Glaceon and Sylveon. Compared to Umbre or Espeon. Sorry. But he's still a good solid beat him on though. Alright. Next is Lucario. Oh how the mighty have fallen. Lucario. I'm going to put him B. I don't think he's bad enough to be a niche mon, but he's played a lot, lot, lot less. But I think he's still sweep through a team. He was a Lucario player who's still playing it since the 113 meta back in the old map. You can sweep through a team with E-Speed still. The close combat's still pretty good. You get a lot of healing from it. His ult though, unfortunately, is a little lackluster and kind of want better ults for him. You just kind of pop it to gain some movement speed. That's really about it. So he's going in B. Maybe that's him being a little generous. Let me know in the comments. Right up next, I'm gonna say Absol is a niche mon. But I'm gonna say he's a good niche mon. I would rather have him than a Gengar. Um Absol, another assassin speed store, but we have so many people like Greninja, Sindo, Delphox we want in jungle instead. You don't really see a lot of speed in the jungle anymore, but you can sweep through a team very fast and hard damage early on in the game. And he doesn't evolve too, so he's just base power. Uh, no power spike on levels, so that means his stats are going to be a little better in early game. So he can run through team early just like a Gengar. His ultimate's a little more reliant than Gengar's too, and doesn't need the uh, 
he doesn't get stopped with full heal or safeguard like Gengar does. So that's why he's going up above Gengar, but still in the niche tier. Alright. Last tank is Mamoswine, which I will also put in the A tier. I'll put him like... Like right, right there. Above Glacian under Sylveon. I think Mamoswine is phenomenal. He's been great with Rapfire Scarf, in my opinion. Um, his Ice Cream Crash is great. He's good damage dealer. Good uh, tank. Doesn't heal like the other three tanks on this AT list, but I'm going to put him above Trevenant because Freeze Lane combo with Ninetales, just Ninetales seeing some more play, is busted. That's a free lane no matter what you do. His early game is also great. He's a good uh, two stage evolution line, but you can destroy top lane even as a level 1 to 4 Hollow Swine. His art's a little, be, a little to be desired though, hard to connect. But if they dive into you, you can crush them. Alright, and last attacker, God of War. Which I'm gonna put an A tier. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him above my champ. Um, just because, again, God of War can ult and just win a fight by just ulting the team and they die. God of War's got big damage. Um, and if you have a team to protect the God of War, it's very hard to deal with it. We got a Trevenant or Memo Swine just on that guard, pushing people away, giving the guard room to attack. It will crush. And guard's a pretty good range mon too, so you can play pretty safely and do a whole lot of damage. The problem is no movement, you know, he's all damage. So if he can get to him, he will die, but he will burn you down too. Out of all, can burn you down a good good half, 25% of HP remaining before you kill it. So good ATM on. Very scary to deal with. And, oh, we have two more supports. Let's get Eldegoss here first. I think Eldegoss is a damn dude. Uh, it hurts my soul, but I'm trying to be realistic as I can here. You know what? If Eldegoss goes here, so does Lucario. I think Eldegoss is a niche tier pick as a support. Doesn't do anywhere near as much healing as um, Blissey. Sorry, I forgot the name there for a second. Doesn't do anywhere near as much damage or healing as Blissey. Sorry. And people want Eldegoss as a X attack like damage support. Which is cute, but it kind of runs out of steam late game because it's a support. So you don't want X attack on support, but it works sometimes. That's why it's a niche Chaman. Also, you can still on the heal build from a Pollen Puff uh, Cotton Guard, but again, you don't get anyone near. Maybe you get like 75 80k at best, but that's like a bad Blissey game. The best Eldegoss healing is a bad day on Blissey, you know? So the alt though is powerful. If you can do it before a God of War alt or like in a Delphox alt, you can definitely save a team and win a team fight, but I'm gonna keep him in niche tier, unfortunately. Even though it's my favorite support to play. And last all round door is Serena. I'm gonna put Serena in a tier. I put Serena right there in A tier. Serena can destroy your team with its healing, but it's been slowly, slowly nerfed, so it's getting less and less viable. Maybe next tier you'll see him in B or even C. But for now, it's a it's a alt that does damage to one target. It's a good good chunk of damage. Won't Oko, but if you can just run into it with your dashes, get some triple axles or some stomps, alt it, it'll die. And you can kind of just walk through a team and kill people. Because so healing's great. Not as good as Zoom Wheels. Zoom Wheel and Serena are kind of now clashing for that same all around the wall. Maybe even Scizor. Because he's got all those dashes. But I think he's a little, they're a little worse than Scizor and Zoom Wheel. Depends on the guy you play, I guess, but 
by far my personal opinion. I'm going to rate him on A. And last but not least, Speed Store. We got Talonflame, which I will put in the... I think I think it's I think it's a niche tier mon too, to be honest. I think most speedsters are niche tier. Um the problem is you got stuff that does more. Like Gojo, arguably a better town flame. Um town flame is just a lot of objective taking and scoring recently. I think a whole lot of, you know, attacking. And only games are kinda easy to deal with. Is there a three stage evolution? It's less scary to have a Talon walk down um, compared to Absolute Gengar walking in your lane as a jungler. But he's good at scoring, can win a game just off scoring, and he can steal objectives with Fly very easily. So he's going, he's going in C. He's at the top of C compared to the other two guys. No, above Bukayo, under Elias, I'll put him there. And last but not least is Cle. Able, which unfortunately I believe also will have to go in C tier under Hoopa. Actually, probably like, hmm. I'd put him above Wheelie really Tough. I think Wheelie really Tough is pretty much almost useless. You know, actually, I might, I might put Wheelie really Tough in, in D tier at the top of D. There we go. All right. The problem with Clefable is they are unreliable with the alts. Some of the alts. Since they have six to choose from and it's random, so it's not really a choice. It's not very good. You know, not very good mod at all with its alt. Sometimes you get blocks, like, oh, I don't want this. Sometimes you get Hyper Beam, which is the best one. Hyper Beam, Hydro Pump, Fly, I would say the best ones you want. But that's half. The other half is bad, like block, explosion. Like, you don't want those ones. So, unfortunately, he's a C2 Mon with his alt and even his abilities. I just rather have a safeguard or a uh, healing egg blissy. Oh, full egg blissy will out heal a Clefable. I've been trying to stack with them, boost up the healing rate, but it's constant healing, so good with ranged um, people. But in a team fight with a lot of boss damage, you aren't healing fast enough to counteract the boss damage. He does great with poking, but if you're in the last team fight and everyone's popping ults, you get a bad ult or you can't heal. It's not great. Follow me is pretty good though, but gravity is a little tough because you have to rely on the enemy attacking you. It's very reactive instead of proactive, which is unfortunate. That's why they are a C tier on bottom of C tier, unfortunately. Sad to see, but hey. You know what can do? Still plenty of months to play in A and B, and some good stuff in S. Which is funny that only two supports on S tier. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I got anything super super wrong. Um, or let me know what I got right. Thank you guys for watching this long long video, and I'll see y'all next time. Good day, night, or evening. Goodbye. His name is Court. He goes by Mort, and he lives down by the port. He likes to build forts. He is a little bit short. And I'm going to take his ass to court.